what's going on guys mbm here in today's video i'm going to be going over how to download maps on worldbox mobile and worldbox pc slash steam let's get straight into the video guys there is a way to download maps on ios but i haven't tried it out yet it is posted on the official worldbox discord server i will put it up for you guys but if you guys want me to try this out, let's try to get 500 likes on this video. The reason I haven't tried it out is because I'm not sure if it really does work. But I will put the method on the screen up over here for you guys. If you guys want to try it out, you do need a PC for it. I have a MacBook. I play on a MacBook, so it's, for me, it's pretty hard. But I will show you guys how to download maps on PC, Mac OS, and Android. You should try this at your own risk. I'm obviously not sure how to do it. That's why... And I haven't seen anyone try it out my, themselves, but this is on the Worldbox Discord server. So try it out. Let me know if it works for you guys. For Mac OS, it's pretty simple. Even for PC players, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is open Worldbox. And first thing first, you're gonna see is Steam Workshop. You click on it. I've already have some of these Browse World. You can click on Browse World. I already have some in here, like you can see north american south america middle east the balkans korean peninsula world map and stuff like that so all you have to do is just click on it load it up and there you go you have the world map on world box but the thing is if you want to add this in your browse worlds all you have to do is go to open workshop pretty much what this does is takes you to the world box world shop where you can download whole lot of maps so it's pretty much better than going to files pasting stuff deleting stuff replacing stuff i feel like this is the most easiest way to download maps you can see the more popular wor worlds like you got europe ancient sanctum and stuff like that you can download all kind of maps and stuff like that as you guys can see i'll use this map as an example so all i have to do is click on that map click on subscribe and pretty much saying this item has been added to your subscription all you have to do is go back to world box click out of work workshop click on steam again go to browse worlds and then you'll see the europe map pretty much click on it you can play this world and boom there we go you got the map you can save it in your worlds and stuff like that. You can do whatever you want, pretty much. All right, guys. So for PC players, like I'm talking about Windows 10s and stuff like that. People who are on Windows 10s and stuff like that. For If you want to download maps from Discord, pretty much all you have to do is extract the RAR content in the users. Then you go to usernames, then app and data, local. Marco Penko, which is the developer of the game, then Worldbox, then save, save folder. In your favorite save slot, you can simply right click, create a new folder for your map. If you want to save a non-existing slot, but t take in mind that you only have 30 slots maximum. So obviously you go to Discord, download a map, and pretty much paste it in one of your save folders. It's pretty much very similar to mobile, which I'll be showing you guys. If you guys want to stick around and have an idea of what it looks like. But there is a screenshot on the screen for you guys to understand and stuff like that. Alright guys, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to download maps on mobile. When I say mobile, I obviously mean Android devices. Here's all the apps that you need to download maps. Obviously the main one being the files app app is this this is the only files app that has worked out for me so yeah first thing first go to worldbox then go to your save slots and save the, an empty slot as i've done that on save one then go to app store and download the files app this is one of the best apps as i've said guys easiest one for me and the only one that has let me bypass and stuff like that you don't need to mod or anything or hacker or anything nothing like that then go to discord yeah i will put a link down for my discord in the bio if you guys want to download maps from there uh, you can download maps and stuff like that so find a map that you like there is like a section for um for you guys to download maps and stuff like that 
So there are a lot of maps. As you guys can see, I've been scrolling and scrolling. But yeah, find your, find a map that you like. And there's also a really good community that can also help you out and stuff like that. If you need any help. I'm going to be using that map as an example. Obviously, you got to do is click on the download. Once you have done that, go back to the files app. Uh, you can put it in split, split screen by clicking on the top. Then go to Windows slash new window, obviously. Then go to data and find Mark Panko world box. Click on it, go to files. And then go to save and then whatever ma map that you have saved the blank one in go pretty much all you have to do is go to that then you have to go back to your downloads on the other screen find the map that you have downloaded click on it then click on the three dots pretty much i mean you can drag it all the you can click copy and paste it over there or you can drag it i've just simply dragged it and then all you have to do is delete the original map so and now rename that uh, map you have put it in slash dragged it in and rename it rename it to map w box as I've done on the screen. And there you go. That's all you have to do guys for to download maps on mobile. It's a really simple process. It's not that hard. You can pretty much restart world box or load it back in there you go guys that's how i just downloaded the map for you guys all right guys there it goes it's loading in and boom there we go guys let me know if you guys are gonna have any questions and stuff like that um i will try to answer all of them and if you have questions try to ask them in the discord which is going to be in the link obviously you can download the map from there and stuff like that Alright guys, if you have made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe guys. I really do appreciate everyone who watches till the end. It helps me out and it helps me keep making these videos. If I missed out on anything, let me know guys. And don't forget to leave a like because we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers as well. If we get to 500 likes, I will do the method on iOS. I will try it out and show you guys how that works as well. Obviously, the link for my Discord server is going to be in my bio as well as my Instagram. Guys, make sure you guys follow it. I will put it up on the screen as well. But I would really appreciate if you guys drop a follow. We're super close to 1,000 followers on that as well. I appreciate you guys. I hope to see you guys in the next video.